The reason I'm saying this because in submitting ourselves to God, we got to be a hundred percent all out for the Lord. And this gold, refined gold, the purity of life, talks about being Christ-like character. Or having a Christ-like character in our lives. Look at it in the book of James chapter 1. And in verse 26 says, For if anyone thinks himself to be religious, to be religious, and yet does not bridle his tongue. Take note of that word. Mm -hmm. Bridle his tongue. <laughs> but deceives his own heart. This man's religion is worthless. This is pure and undefiled religion in the sight of our God and Father to visit orphans and widows in their distress and to give oneself unstained by the world. The process of refinement for the believers needs a cooperation from us to God. Cooperation is needed. We need to cooperate with what God's plan, mm. God's will, not our will. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. If we will insist, mm. your will, you will, or you are on your way to destruction. Yes. yes. Amen. But if it's God's will, Listen, you will be blessed by the Lord. Hmm. So for gold to be purified, it is ground to make that gold like a powder. And then you have to mix with flax, then put it into the pot. Hmm. And they said, when that gold that you consider it's already boiling with the flax mm. on it they said the true gold will stay at the bottom and all those chemicals added or mixed to that will be the float. up the gold will be down and the other chemicals will be out. Become a liquid that means the gold is more has more weight than the others. Hmm. The impurities rise to the top and the gold sinks to the bottom. Mm. Impurities. When you powderize this and put a flax on it and put it in the fire, the reals, the sixty percent will be at the bottom. Amen. The forty percent, all of these impurities will be out there. Forty percent. Mm. Listen, listen, listen. What God is looking for is only the forty for the sixty percent. Mm. The forty percent has no value to God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Listen, Hallelujah. listen. God is looking for a hundred percent gold. In the lives of people. Mm -hmm. The true, pure heart. And it says here in 2 Timothy chapter 2. I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures tonight. And in verse 19 it says, Nevertheless, the pure foundation of God stands having the seal. 
Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 19. The Lord knows those who are His. Mm. Amen. The Lord knows those who are His. Amen. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord abstain from wickedness. Now in a large house there are not only gold and silver vessels but also vessels of wood and of earthenware and some to honor and some to dishonor therefore if a man cleanses himself from these things he will be a vessel for honor sanctified useful to the master prepared for every good work Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There's different type of materials. Amen. There are some people who are made of gold. Amen. Amen. In their service to God. Made of silver. Made of wood. Made of hay. And it says, every one of us will go through the fire. If you are a hey, that's it. You not gonna last long in that fire. If you are made of wood, you will last a little, a little bit. Amen. The silver, the gold will be revealed. The question is this: What type of materials are we made? servant of God Hallelujah. what type of materials are we made right now that gold that pure gold takes on transparent characteristic that you are not sensitive You are not emotional. Yes. That when people say something, you get hurt easily. Praise God. You know, we have some, I encounter a lot of people like that. Pastor me, you hurt me. By doing what? By saying this, this, and that, it's not me, it's God's word. Amen. 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 It's God's word that talking to you. Amen. Just this Tuesday, I preach on something very powerful gift in the body of Christ. The gift of closure. <laughs> The gift of closure. You know why? Because that's a special gift. The gift of closure, meaning everything that happened yesterday, you close it. You put it in a container and you close it. Amen. And you go the next day forgetting everything. Amen. That's a gift. Because all of us, we are very good in thinking the past. <laughs> Isn't it? Amen. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. And someone came to me after the preaching and said, Pastor B, the reason I'm here tonight because God has a word for me. Amen. Everything that you're telling us tonight is all about me. Mm. Amen. Because I don't have that gift of closure. And now I will close everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Because it's not healthy, he said. Yes. It's not healthy to open everything that happened in the year 2009, here in the year 2010, especially the bad thing. Amen. When it's bad, close. close it. That's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> That's the reason why I brought this 